Well, folks, you thought we were done with 2023. You were wrong, because today we are going to pay homage to a terrible year by playing a strange variation on Guess Who with multiple political and cultural figures over the course of the last year. This video is sponsored by ExpressVPN. Okay, dumbest person on The View. It has to be Whoopi. Whoopi. Correct. I don't know, that's hard. I mean, it's definitely No, no, Whoopi, you got it, you got it. You're good. But is, right. is she the dumbest person on The View? Uh, yes. The Holocaust isn't about race. Yeah, I, I think so. That, you're think you're right, so. actually. Now that, I, now that I think about it, that's Anna not Anna Navarro's... <laughs> There's so many dumb people on The View. Wow. Okay, your turn. <laughs> All right, so... Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Cream was not expecting this as an endorsement this year. <laughs> ah, it was Prince Harry. Yes, Todger. Yeah, the Todger. Todger guy. Let's see. Said hi, Bob. You Elon. Almost? Yeah, you got that. You, got, you guys are on top of the news. This is good. As producers <laughs> of a news show, you're on top of it. This is good. Go f- yourself. Oh, it's my turn. All right. This person once identified as a girl, then non-binary, then that wasn't good for business. So then she was pansexual, and then that didn't work. So that she reclaimed the she, her pronouns. And then she also, I think, tried to uh, conjure Satan in her last album. Yeah, she also like talks to weird lesbian ghosts and stuff, right? So this is Demi Lovato. You can take everything I have. Wow. I yeah. knew you'd get that one fast. Yeah. You love her. Okay. Destroyed an entire beer brand. Bill Mulvaney. Correct. Right? Yeah, that's okay. right. Bingo. That's right. <laughs> All right. This girl has a million... Y's and X's in her name. Yeah, had chlamydia twice. <laughs> Not just once, but twice. Came back for a second bite of that apple. Ew. Sexy red. Bing uh, point. Yeah. All Good. right. Oh, 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 oh. How's it going? I think it's out there. America. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to go with Biden. <laughs> Nailed it. Bruh. All right, this person stole a ton of money from you uh, via crypto while probably simultaneously beating a raid boss in World of Warcraft. Yeah, the, uh, that's Bankman Freed. Correct. <laughs> yeah, that guy. That guy's like the butler in every mystery novel. Like, who did it? That guy. Like, so clearly that guy. I have a grave suspicion of extremely rich people who dress like the homeless. Mm. Like, to me, that that's such a poser move. Who else does that? Adam Sandler. No, because Adam Sandler used to be like a comedian. So it's, it's different if you're a cultural figure. But Tim Bankman Free grew up rich and was rich and continues to be rich. So yeah, that, I don't buy that at all. The oldest child in America. John Fetterman. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, Biden's kid. Hunter. Hunter. Hunter, absolutely. Wow. He's still a poor child. He's 53, man. <laughs> That's fair. That guy is like 13 years younger than my dad. <laughs> I don't know why my brain went to John Fetterman. Now, John Fetterman is the big surprise of the year, John Fetterman. If I would have told you at the beginning of the year that this person, you would actually be defending him, yeah. you would never have guessed it. Yeah, yeah, that is for sure true. Oh my God, really? Oh my gosh. And that's my clue. Okay, John Fetterman. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, this is one of the most famous people on earth, but could totally walk around anonymously in Florida with no one noticing this person. Huh? Gotta be. Messy. Oh, yeah, it's gotta be him. He could walk around Florida and no one would know yeah, him? Yeah, because he went into the grocery store in Miami and no one recognized him. It has oh, to be how? Messy. What yeah. the? Yeah, it is. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he's, okay, he's, like a, he, he's like a normal sized dude. He's like 5'6 and looks like a normal dude who just happens to be one of the best athletes ever in a wow. sport that no one in America watches. And you'd think in Miami they'd recognize him. You would think that. But you would also think that Miami could support a baseball team, so there you have it. Ooh. <laughs> um, all right. <laughs> okay. The NFL uses this person as their cash cow. She hates capitalism, but also charges $7,000 for concert tickets. And she was voted person's, what is it? Times person, person of, of the, the year. year. Term, yeah. The Tay Tay. Taylor Swift. By the way, does it ever strike you as weird that Taylor Swift is singing the same songs that would be fitting for a 17 year old girl and she is 34 years old? Like every one of her songs about how like, she has a boyfriend, she broke up with him, and now she's discovering herself, and it's super sad, but it's also super happy because she's discovering herself. I'm the problem, it's me. Every song is about her being a teenager, and she's 34 years old. 
She's 34. I understand that our society has decided that childhood now extends all the way to Hunter Biden's age, but she's old, man. I'm sorry. 34 is not when you should be singing about how like your latest breakup is going. Yeah, that's rough. At the, at the age of 34, my wife had been married for 14 years. At the age of 34, we had three kids and she was a doctor already. Oof. Like, grow the grow up. Like, our entire generation of people who are just, like, children, ironically, collapsed faster than the Titanic. Titan. Yes. Oh. <laughs> I was going to say yes, Rachel. Yes, that's right. The submersible. <laughs> yeah. I like that we spent, like, a week. And the military knew from, like, day one. And they just were holding on to oh, it. Oh, yeah. They're all like, you know what? We can get a news cycle out of this thing. <laughs> sure. Why not? All right, I'm gonna do a little impression for this description. Okay. <clears throat> this person was just buried alive for seven days straight. Not only were they buried alive, but they also blew up $100,000 bank safe with $100,000 worth of dynamite. Wow, Zach, that's a really good Mr. Beast impression. Thank you. That's not bad at all. <laughs> Nailed it. Get my beast bars. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, I feel like you've been working that one up. We'll get to more of this in just one second. First, let me ask you a question. What if there was someone out there who kept a log of every single thing you did every minute of the day? Well, that would be pretty creepy. Well, what if I told you that's exactly what happens every time you go online? Your ISP is keeping track of literally all the things that you do. And then they are selling all of that data to advertisers and other people who can monetize it. Well, I don't want anyone doing that to me, which is why I use ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN reroutes your internet connection through their secure servers so your internet provider can't see or log what you do online. Now, many of you might be wondering, if I'm rooting all my data through a VPN, can't the VPN see what I'm doing and log my data instead? You are right to ask that question. Many VPNs claim to have a no logs policy, but they've actually been caught logging customer activity. Express VPN, they're the only VPN I trust because they use trusted server technology. This makes it impossible for their VPN servers to store any data, including logs, of any Express VPN customer. You don't have to take my word for it or Express VPNs. Express VPN is so confident in their no logs claim, they had one of the biggest assurance firms, PwC, audit their technology. Stop letting people keep logs of what you do online. Visit expressvpn.com slash benyt. Get three extra months for free. That's expressvpn.com slash benyt. Expressvpn.com slash benyt to learn more. Okay, we live in such a sad society. This person is known for actually just being a woman. That's where we are now. Oh, Riley? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Correct. Uh, Riley Gaines. Riley Gaines, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, I was looking for some sort of... Tra Her claim to fame is being a woman. <laughs> yeah, that's right. All right, this person actually pole dance with Satan. There's so many of them that pole <laughs> yeah. dance with Satan. Um, that's Sam Smith, right? Yeah, yes. the one and only. Yeah, that's it. I mean, because I was thinking, didn't Lil Nas X kind of do that? Oh yeah, true. Also true. And also Demi Lovato. Doja Cat. Yeah. And yeah, also yeah. like like this is like the the de rigueur thing now. It's why like, is that? Why why has there been a rise of that? There are no more boundaries left to cross. Mm -hmm. And so once you cross every boundary, you have to go there. But now where are they going to go? Yeah. They're going to become religious Christians again. Like they have to go all the way. Back. Like what's the most transgressive thing you could do? Right. They're all going to become traditionally married religious Christians eventually. Just to, just to be like, we're really gonna provoke the culture this time. If they really want to provoke culture, they're just gonna start doing like a bunch of pro-Israel stuff. And oh then, my God, and, no, they're gonna vote for Trump. And then and, Sam yeah. Smith is just gonna come out and be like, I'm a straight white male who loves Donald Trump and I work in an auto factory. <laughs> yeah. Afuera. <laughs> yeah. Oh, best. Uh, Argentina guy. Uh, Love that guy. What's his name? Really? Yeah, it's the best. Did you see him on New Year's really? making out with his girlfriend what? on stage? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this person epitomized the plight of every working American, and they did this by writing a song and then going viral on Joe Rogan as well. Oh, okay. Because you could have been saying that sarcastically, and that's nearly everyone on this board. But if you're saying it authentically, <laughs> then Oliver Anthony, right? Yep. Yes. These rich men know the rich men. Lord knows they all just want to have total control. The only good thing that Michael Knowles has has ever done in his entire life is be part of a promotion for this product. I uh, guess the chocolates. Yeah. What do he do? Why don't I remember? He's, he's there for like one second. Oh. He just, yeah, he doesn't have a He's there for he's there for literally one second. He's a total waste of space. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> it's his best role yet. Yeah. <laughs> I will say he's funny in Lady Ballers. Okay. He's he funny is funny in Lady Ballers. That's actually who he is. Like it's a perfect part for him. It's like written for him. Okay, your turn. It was a white Christmas in July at the White House. Yeah, a uh, little cocaine baggie. <laughs> Definitely not hunters. 100% not hunters. Might have been hunters. 
Okay, was in a an underperforming adaptation of West Side Story, and now will be in an underperforming. Rachel. Yeah, you got it. Rachel Ziggity. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. Also, this reminds me that we 100% should do an authentic cartoon with Steamboat Willie, right? Oh yeah, we can. Like Mickey Mickey Mouse, we 100% should do that. All right, this is a person that says, I want to be very clear before every sentence and then goes on to say things that are not clear at all. Oh, that's Pete Buttigieg, right? No. Oh. No, but wow. fair. Uh, maybe a little He does say that a lot. A Corinne Jean-Pierre? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, fine. She, she does say that a lot. So does Pete Buttigieg, actually. He also that. She does say that. She has a binder. Lots of binders for that lady. Who's your favorite press secretary? Uh, the best press secretary ever. So I will say that, that there have been a bunch that are pretty good. Ari Fleischer, I really liked early on in the in the in the Bushman. He was Tony Snow was an excellent. Dana obviously was great. Bush had a bunch that were really really strong, and uh, I thought Kaylee did a good job actually. I was gonna say for Trump. Yeah, she did a good job. That's a hard job. Um, your favorite president and mine. <laughs> Uh, yes, the Donald. This Deep. NFT is for sale <laughs> for just one million dollars. Really incredible artwork pertaining to my life and my career. It's been very exciting. <laughs> He's so funny. He's such a funny person. I love tacos. Taco Tuesday. I love the Mexican people. I love the Mexicans with their tacos. <laughs> and Trump Tower doesn't even sell tacos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so good. That might have been my favorite Trump oh, moment. Man, there, there, there are a lot of good Trump moments. All right. This is Yake. All right, uh, this quote would be one that would appropriately and literally describe your actions uh, during this cultural moment. And the quote is, some men just want to watch the world burn. Oh yeah, Barbie, the movie, <laughs> yeah. Barbie, oh, God, that movie is so lazy. It's such a lazy movie. I'm getting angry at it just thinking about it. <laughs> like, I need to burn something again. <laughs> I'm the only one in this office who hasn't watched it. How do people even pretend it's good? Forget about the morality of it or the politics of it. How do people think that's a good movie? I just don't understand. Because it's a female director, Ben. Okay. Uh, used to be in Congress, no longer is in Congress. One day we'll be president of the universe. Him? No, 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 no. It's going to be... Uh... Him? Yeah. Oh, are you being sarcastic? Only a little. George Santos. <laughs> only a little. George Santos. No, given the standards of our politics, he will end up being president. Even Shakespeare himself covets this person's ability to write and sing. You didn't say My it. anaconda don't want no. Oh, yes. <laughs> it's true. She is a cultural treasure. Somebody's being negative. I'm gonna go. She is just an amazing wordsmith. Mm. Nicki Minaj. Yeah, girl. Yeah, she's, she is amazing. I will say the song Super Bass kind of slaps. Yeah. Roman. I, I have not heard it. Nor do I wish to. Well, I was now like, you're gonna sing it to me. <laughs> this is not. This is not part of the deal. He should be president. Has best record to be president. Probably not going to be president. Ronnie. Ronnie. <laughs> yes. Okay. Last one for us. Okay. When this happened, I wasn't sure if it was a Cialis commercial or if it was just a guy doing shirtless push-ups. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, RFK Jr. Yeah. <laughs> that guy's going to win like 15% of the vote just because everybody's like, what the? Like, ah, oh, man, this election cycle. You... Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kamala. Mm -hmm. mm. That's what we should have done. We should have had to do the impressions and no with words. No words. Just everybody, <laughs> just impressions with no words. <laughs> so that was the year 2023, and it was a garbage heap. I estimated that 2023 would be like a 94% bad year. It turned out to be like a 98% bad year. So I'm just going to go high for 2024. I'm going to say 99.3% bad. Then it'll leave me a lot of margin for error, but we'll find out. I don't want to set the world on fire.